Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to be talking about something which you just can't get enough of, and that is, well, USB ports. This is a four port USB adapter card designed for PCI Express times one slots and promises to deliver up to two amps on each individual socket. Pretty impressive. Not sure how to do it, but anyway, let's find out. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at the LU10, or yeah, I guess that's how you pronounce it, LU10. This is a PCI Express adapter card for modern PCs, PCI Express Gen 3, Gen 2, whatever. Gonna be absolutely fine. This is up to five gigabit per second on the port, so they are classified as super speed ports. Now, before you get too excited and think, wow, five gigabits per second, that sounds rather fast. It isn't. If you transfer that into megabytes per second, you're looking at 625 megabytes per second, and that is the maximum transfer speed. Put onto that USB overhead, transport, etc., etc., and also the type of devices you're going to be connecting. Don't expect miracles. It is only going to be uh, basically USB 3.1 Gen 1, or USB Gen 3.2 Gen 1. 5 gigabit per second, essentially. Anyway, so we've got four individual ports on there. Each one has its own individual kind of uh, capacitors and all that kind of stuff. So supports up to two amps on each one. So four ports on there, PCI Express card it is a kind of relatively compact setup. Doesn't need any additional power, which is very cool. For some people, they don't like those extra wires and like PCI Express connections or SATA connections, Molex, floppy drive connections, all that kind of stuff. And I'm the same, I don't really want that. The reason why I actually bought this, I did previously have the two port version of this. Uh, which I was very pleased with, but it was in the PC behind me. As you can see, it's currently missing because uh, we gave George something for Christmas and he needed more USB ports in his computer, which he didn't have. So I said, right, I'll donate you that and I'll just order another one. So I thought, well, I'll try the four port one. I had the two before. Let's see if the four port is any different, uh, if it's any better. I'm guessing it's not going to be, although in theory, the bandwidth would be shared across this. So if you have four devices, it's going to slow down more than obviously if you've only plugged in two. So that kind of stands to reason. But other than that, it seems like a pretty decent card, pretty well constructed, not flimsy, nice strong PCB, all that kind of stuff. When it comes through, it comes in a nice anti-static bag, all nicely wrapped, etc. And you do get your instruction manual, which is kind of pretty straightforward. Effectively, as long as you're on Windows 8 or above, then this is going to just be plug in place, stick it in the computer, turn it on, and you're off to the races, it's going to be ready to go. If you're on XP or 7, this may be needed. This is the driver disc, or alternatively, you can download the drivers from their website. That's actually listed out on the piece of paper as well. They include pretty much everything you're going to need to install it, other than dexterity. So, you do get a little tiny screwdriver, or Philips PH1 or PH0, I think that might be. And bizarrely, I'm not entirely sure why they've done this, but you get two screws a black screw and a silver screw. So, these are the traditional ones you use to attach your kind of side panels for your case and all that kind of stuff or PCI Express cards in your computer. So not entirely sure why they've done that. Doesn't really make much difference because the uh, the back bracket is very bright silver. So yeah, if you're looking to kind of have a stealthy look, then uh, yeah, you're out of luck, I'm afraid. So anyway, that is a uh, intro to the product. Let's uh, put it in the PC and see what it's like. Okay, so let's get this thing installed. So this is gonna be where it's gonna be ending up in this uh, PCI Express times one slot. You can use it in a times four or a times eight, like the one above if you want to, but a times one is spare here at the bottom. That's where we used one previously. So we'll go ahead and we'll use this one. So let's turn the computer off. That is pretty important. These aren't like USB devices where you can just plug them in while the PC's on. The PC should be shut down. Ideally, once the PC is shut down as well, it's probably a good idea just to turn off the mains just in case. Okay, entirely up to you how you go about doing it, but I certainly would probably recommend doing that. Then we're gonna grab our screwdriver and we're gonna move this screw. I actually left the screw in here from the, uh, the previous installation. So we'll quickly pop that out. And that is that. So we're gonna grab our card in this orientation. And all you wanna do is to line up little fingers there with the port just here. So we're gonna do that, so gently slide it in push it in and a little bit of firm pressure, thumb on the corner, thumb on the bracket there and just slide it home. It couldn't be easier. Then we're gonna get our screw and we're gonna pop that back in. If you find this uh, blanking plate or the back plate is slightly covered, 
then you might need to adjust the height of this up and down very slightly one way or the other. But on this particular case, we don't have the crossbar, so it isn't necessary. So that is effectively it. All you need to do now is uh, press the power button, turn the PC back on, and uh, magically you've got yourself four new USB ports, which is awesome. So I'm going to do some quick testing and see how fast it actually is. Okay, so it's all in done, all installed, and I've done a, uh, a very brief benchmarking session. Let's not get excited here. It's not going to be fantastic. Obviously, there is going to be a more of an overhead because this is going through a chipset into the PCI Express bus and then through. So it's not going to be quite as fast as your hardware motherboard USB ports, or at least the super speed ports anyway. It's definitely going to be faster than the USB 2 ones, that's for sure. And uh, we have brought it out in the results. So if we take a quick look at these, these are side by side. So on your left hand side, you'll be seeing the LU10. And on the other side, you're seeing the MSI B550 Gaming Plus results from the super speed ports. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a discrepancy there. It isn't quite getting quite up to that magical 625 megabytes per second mark, but that is the case for both. So obviously that is gonna be a theoretical maximum speed rather than a reality, but we're still getting somewhere in the region of about 400 megabytes per second read and writes, although obviously it is tailing behind slightly. Ultimately, if you do want more USB ports and you want super fast ones, which are like lightning, then you're gonna to have to spend more money. Realistically, this is only 20 pounds for four extra ports. And if you're looking for a motherboard with four extra USB ports, and it's gonna cost you a lot more than 20 pounds. Although having said that, if you look for a motherboard with that many extra ports on it, yeah, it's probably gonna cost you at least another 50 pounds and take you into a much higher tier motherboard, which you may not necessarily need, but if your needs are modest and maybe you've just got an extra 4K capture card or maybe an additional SSD or something like that, which you need to plug in, just needs a little bit more horsepower, then this card is gonna be absolutely perfect for you. So anyway, let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. Is it something that you would pick up for your particular PC? Well, actually, if you do want to, there will be affiliated links in the video description. Feel free to use those. They are very much appreciated. Well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.